Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. Today we're making this super crispy fried chicken. And there's nothing nicer than fried chicken, but this has to be, I'd say, the most crispy chicken I've ever had. It's double, dip, double dipped in an egg mixture, then in flour, and then some spices added. It is super good and super crispy. You gotta try this, so let me walk you through it. So first off, what I've got here is some chicken parts. And I've got four legs and four thighs, but you can, you can use, you know, a whole chicken, cut it up, or you can use wings, any part you want. So I'm gonna season this up with some salt, just to bring out those flavors. And of course, some pepper. And I'm a pepper lover, so I'm gonna add lots. And you can also use some chickening seasoning if you have some. Now, I don't have any on hand, so I'm not going to use it, but it does make it yummy. And, of course, we're going to flip them over and do this on the other side. So next up, let's do our dredging station. And what I've got here are two cups of all-purpose flour. Add in half a cup of cornstarch, and this is going to make the chicken a little more crispy. And I'm going to season this up with half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder and about a teaspoon of salt and pepper. So you can use the spices of your choice, but this is what I like. So I'm just going to put this in. Of course, we'll whisk it up so everything's nicely combined. Okay, this is pretty good, something like this. Okay, what I've got here are three eggs and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of milk. And of course, whisk it up. After that, we're going to submerge the chicken into the egg mixture. Just making sure it's totally covered. Into the flour mixture. And you want this like totally covered. And you can use your hands, something like this. You want them really, really covered and well coated. Make sure you wash your hands afterwards, though. What I usually try and do is get get the flour mixture right in, sometimes even under the skin, into every little nook and cranny. Then set them aside on a plate, and of course continue doing this for the rest of the chicken. Okay, here's a little tip for you. What we're going to do is double dip these. So I'm going to take the chicken, put it back into the egg mixture, and roll it around. And this is going to make it super, super crispy then back into the flour mixture. And just look at that coating. Doesn't that look incredible? By the way, why did the chicken join a band? Because he had drumsticks. <laughs> All right, what I've got here is some oil between 350 and 375. So I'm just gonna slip the chicken in and we're gonna cook this for, oh, I'd say about 15 minutes or so, just until it's golden brown. And because this is bone in, I should mention this, that you want to let it cook a little longer. You can use a th thermometer too, just to make sure you get a consistent temperature. After about 14, 15 minutes, it's beautifully browned. So I'm just going to remove it and put it on a wire rack. And look how crispy this is. Now you can use a plate lined with a paper towel, but I just like the wire rack. Simply because it'll make it crispier, you put it on the paper towel, it kind of absorbs the grease and makes it a little bit kind of soft and slimy. And there you have it, our super delicious crunchy fried chicken. Okay, now I'm gonna grab up my chicken. And my goodness, this is a winner. Just look how crispy this is. I've never seen chicken this crispy in my life. And I'm just gonna slip this into a basket because I'm gonna munch on it while I'm watching a movie. Okay, let's grab a piece up. So let's give this a taste test. Mmm. Right, this is super, super good. The crispiness, super crispy, the most crispy chicken I've ever had. 
but it's tender on the inside, juicy. The spices are wonderful. You just gotta try this. Mmm. I'm gonna eat this all day. So for all the details on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of chicken mm. recipes over there. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and see you next time.